who is Mayur Bale. I am assistant professor in civil department, WIT Solapur. Today we are going to learn about design of flash mixers in water treatment plant. So what are the learning outcomes? Students will be able to design the flash mixer in water treatment plant. Generally, flash mixers or rapid mixer mechanism are widely used in industrial sector, but not in a conventional uh, water treatment plant. But it is also used in wastewater applications also. Why so? To rapid mix whatever the coagulant which is being added uh, into the uh, into the water, so that homogeneous mixing should happen. And after that, uh, after passing through the flash mixer, the uh, whatever the impellers or whatever the paddles which we can see here they are rotated at a faster rate and then they are slowed down so that proper coagulation should also takes place in the same now these are this is a typical diagram of flash mixer where you can see the paddles are uh, provided for flash mixing the inlet is always from the topper part and there is a deflecting hole so that water can pass through uh, and it should enter the uh, tank from the bottom side and should come out and then it will be joined to the outlet. Now whatever the dose which is being added is always added nearby the paddle or what we can say at the bottom of the paddle. Whatever uh, impurities which are there, which are getting settled down due to their higher density than that of water, they can be taken out through the drain wall. Now these are typical uh, paddles which are always uh, present which we typically design what we design is its diameter uh, what is its uh, shape and size that is what we design in the flash mixer now let us take a numerical example to design a flash mixer so design a flash mixer for a design flow of 250 meter cube per hour assume suitable data whatever or wherever necessary so these are typical uh, design steps. So first is design parameters. We have to understand what are design parameters and their range. Then computation of uh, volume of flash mixer with respect to uh, the flow rate. Then design of inlet and outlet pipe. Then determination of uh, dimensions of flash mixer. Then computation of power which is required uh, to the pedals. And then computation of velocity differential between paddle and the water. And then computation of final paddle size. So at first, the design parameters, we have to think about the detention period time. So in general, 30 to 60 seconds are provided for the detention time. Inlet velocity of water is typically kept between 0 0.4 to 1.5 meter per second. Velocity gradient, that is capital G, is generally kept between 300 to 600 per second. Then optimum GD is always kept 18,000. Speed of paddles is varying from 100 to 400 rpm maximum speed of a motor is generally kept uh, approximately 1400 rpm the ratio of a diameter of blades to diameter of whole unit that is small d to capital d is always kept between 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 and the ratio of the unit uh, diameter that is capital d to height of the uh, whole unit the or what we can say tank that is uh, capital D by capital H is always kept between 1 rest to 1 to 1 rest to 3. Now the next is computation of uh, volume of flocculation tank where the design flow that is capital Q is given about 250 meter cube per hour. So we have to convert from hours to seconds just by dividing 3600 by which we will get 0 0.0694 meter cube per second. Now as we had uh, known from the earlier uh, slide that the detention period is kept between uh, 30 to 60 seconds. Here we will take uh, 50 seconds. As we know the uh, flow rate and we know the uh, detention period, we can directly calculate the volume, uh, which is having the formula that is capital V is equal to Q multiplied by T, where uh, Q is your flow rate and T is detention time. So we know the design flow rate is uh, 0 0.0694. Uh, meter cube per second multiplied by 50 seconds which we had assumed by which we will get the volume about 3.47 meter cube now we will uh, think about uh, inlet pipe and outlet pipe also so velocity of influent and effluent water is generally kept same and i am taking 1.2 meter per second and the range which is given to us is 0 0.6 to 1.5 meter per second by which what we will get the flow rate we already know 
विच विल बी इक्वल टू एरिया मल्टीप्लाई बाय वेलोसिटी ऑफ वाटर वी नो द वेलोसिटी सो ओनली अननोन पैरामीटर इज एरिया सो जस्ट पुटिंग द वैल्यूज दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स नाइन फोर इज इक्वल टू पाई बाय फोर डी स्क्वायर विच इज द एरिया ऑफ पाइप मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन पॉइंट टू बाय विच वी विल गेट द स्मॉल डायमीटर टू बी जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन वन मीटर और वॉट वी कैन से वी कैन जस्ट इंक्रीज द वेलोसिटी एंड वी विल टेक जीरो पॉइंट थ्री मीटर सो हियर यू कैन सी द इनलेट एंड आउटलेट डायमीटर इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री मीटर नाउ द फोर्थ वन इज डायमेंशन ऑफ फ्लैश मिक्सर हियर वॉट वी हैव टू एज्यूम वी हैव टू एज्यूम कैपिटल डी बाय कैपिटल एच हियर आई एम टेकिंग वन रेस टू वन पॉइंट फाइव एंड द रेंज इज बिटवीन वन रेस टू वन टू वन रेस टू थ्री नाउ uh but just by uh, readjusting i can write ca uh, capital h is equal to 1.5d and we know the volume volume is always equal to surface area into height of the tank so volume we had calculated earlier that is 3.47 which is equal to pi by 4 capital d square where capital d is the diameter of tank multiply by height of the tank where we had assumed 1.5d so yeah, i am keeping like this so in this whole equation the d is unknown and just by calculating we will get a capital d is equal to 1.43 meter and as i know the capital d i can put that value for calculating capital h and i can write capital h is equal to 1.5 into d that is 1.43 which will be getting about 2.15 meter so i will get capital d i will get capital h so whole tank is having a dimension where the diameter of tank will be 1.43 meter and height is 2.15 meters the next one is uh, computation of power and we know the formula capital g is equal to under root p by mu into capital v but to get to uh, uh, to get into it first we have to consider the optimum gt where we i had taken one uh, 18000 and i know the detention time that is 50 uh, seconds which we had uh, already assumed so capital g multiply by 50 will be Uh, eighty eighteen thousand by which the capital G would come about three sixty. So in this equation, I had got uh, capital G. Now by just by rearranging it, P will be equal to G square into capital V by mu, where mu is a uh, dynamic viscosity of water, which we generally consider about one into ten raised to minus three uh, newton second per meter square. Putting all this value here, that is G square, that is three sixty square, which we had calculated here. Multiply by volume of the tank, which we had calculated earlier, that is 3.47 meter cube. Multiply by 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 uh, ns by meter square, and by doing so, I will get the value about 449.712 watts. I will convert it to HP, that is horsepower, just by dividing by 75. I will get 5.99 HP, or I I can increase it to 6 HP. So I need to provide a motor of 6 HP power. now the next is computation of velocity differential between paddle and water here i have to consider small d by capital d to, uh, uh, to be 0.35 i can take between 0.2 to 0.4 so i can write like this small d by capital d will be equal to 0.35 or small d will be 0.35 into capital d and i know the value of capital d to be 1.43 which i had calculated in the previous step so by doing so i will get the value about 0.5 so i know the uh, uh, diameter of paddle to be 0.5 to calculate the radius which is always half of the diameter so 0.5 divided by 2 will be coming about 0.25 now as the paddles are rotating in angular velocity so capital v uh, that is the velocity will be equal to 2 pi rn divided by 60 so 2 multiplied by pi value that is 3.14 multiply by uh, the radius of paddle that is 0.25 multiply by n which is uh, always taken to be 100 divided by 60 i am getting 2.62 meter per second so angular velocity of paddle is 0 uh, 2.62 meter per second and the relative velocity between water and paddle is always kept between 0.75 into a velocity of paddle so 0.75 multiply by 2.62 will be coming about 1.965 meter per second so this is the relative velocity that is vr the last step is computation of paddle size where the formula says capital p is equal to half of cd where c cd is the coefficient of coefficient of uh, drag of paddle which generally considered to be 1.8 for uh, flash mixer into rho rho is the density of fluid 
and for water it is considered to be uh, 997 kg per meter cube at 25 degree celsius multiply by ap ap is the uh, total area of paddles which is always uh, taken in meter square multiply by vr that is relative velocity that is uh, for impeller and uh, for uh, fluid so putting all this value in this equation i can write the power which i had calculated in watts that is 449.712 is equal to half of 1.8 that is cd multiply by 997 multiply by ap multiply by relative velocity cube that is 1.965 by doing so i will get the value of ap to be 0 0.066 meter square now as i know the value of uh, area of uh, paddle i can get uh, the size also so area of uh, one paddle can be uh, taken directly but as in the flash mixer we are keeping more than two or we have to keep minimum two uh, paddles so i will consider minimum two paddles by which paddle of uh, uh, area of one paddle will be half of the ap that is 0 0.066 divided by 2 it means area of one paddle will be 0 0.033 meter square now assuming the depth or what we can say width to be 7.5 uh, centimeter generally it is between uh, 0 uh, 5 to 7.5 centimeter so i am considering 7.5 centimeter i can directly write 0 0.075 meter by which i will get the height so height will be area divided by width that is 0 0.033 divided by 0 0.075 to which i will get 0 0.44 meters or 44 centimeters so my width uh, would be uh, 7.5 centimeters and my height that is in a length section it is 44 centimeters so i can directly say provide two paddles having a size of 7.5 centimeters multiplied by 44 centimeters now let us have few review questions the first is in the design of flash mixer optimum gt is considered to be 18000 whether this statement is correct or uh, false the next is in flash mixer ratio of diameter to height is kept between 1 to 1 1 1 to 2 1 to 3 or 1 to 4 and uh, maximum retention time provided in the uh, flash mixer is always 1.5 meter, uh, 0.45 meter, 1 meter or 1.5 meter. So let us have its uh, uh, answers. Yes, the first statement is correct. The minimum ratio of uh, diameter to height is kept 1 to 1. Uh, the maximum retention uh, time generally provided is 1 meter or 60 seconds. Uh, these are references I have used to make this presentation. Thank you so much.